finished some Sal. Me then. I'm Ben. So I've noticed that a lot of people are really enjoying these Tales in the Dark Multiverse. Whoa. Hey. And uh, the other thing I'm finding out is that a lot of you didn't read them when they were coming out. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What? Yeah, and I'm I like, can't believe it. What? There's stories that don't matter and aren't going These to count are, for anything? Right. Well, and I, I, you know, it's one of those things that DC really screwed up yet again, which is just like, you didn't market it right. No. As, as, and when I say that, I mean they didn't market it at all. <laughs> like, I didn't see much, if any, marketing for like, hey, we're ripping off what if? Get on board. And listen, like, I remember when that was the marketing. Like, they sent creators out to talk about the book a little bit. And that's what they were, they're, it's, it's what if, but this. And the response, when it was reached to the audiences, were like, yes, that's all I want, is for what if to be really miserable. <laughs> yes, in the DC universe. I'm a DC fan, so obviously I only want dark and grim and miserable stories. Uh, uh, that's why you like that shit. The company of Superman is definitely the place for this kind of misery. You tell me about like how they marketed this wrong, yeah. and I'm like, they probably just sent out that poster of the map of all the worlds. <laughs> no. And they're just like... One of them's bad. No, it's well, on the other side. Come on. It's on the flip. You didn't flip it? It's black. Right. Yeah. I didn't get that, man. First of all, why would I do that? Why would anyone do that? And secondly, huh? I'm supposed to I'm supposed to infer something from the black side? Did yeah, we talk about this, black. by the way, that like, you know, all the Earth designates in the multiverse, like Earth 2, Earth 64. But if you flip it over, it's Earth negative 2 and Earth negative 64. That the designates in the dark multiverse, they like, have like have a minus sign in front. Yeah. So it's Earth negative number. Earth minus two. But if you're just looking at it, it looks like it's just a hyphen. So you're like, what? Yeah. So what's the negative of Earth prime? I don't know. So Because it's zero. Because Earth prime is yeah, Earth zero. we don't have one. There is no negative. It's just, yeah. the, there is no opposite of the prime Earth. Which actually, I, that makes sense. Yeah. In a senseless, imaginary world. Yeah, but then shouldn't the prime Earth be like a mixture of, of like, both? Of both? No, like it's the catalyst for everything. Stuff? Oh. So, because I don't think that it's that the dark multiverse is the antithesis of every Earth in the multiverse. Oh. It's that from the spawn of everyone's bad decisions or fears comes the dark multiverse. Because so it's there not are a one-to-one -one relation. It is not. The good and the... No. Because they were saying like... We had to keep the dragon going to destroy That's all That's the other thing, is that it's not even supposed to be there, it's an aberration anyway. Right. But it is, it, is a, it is from the wellspring of Earth Prime. I feel like it's confusing if they use numbers, because we already have numbers for the normal universe. True. They should have used, like, letters, oh, or yeah. Greek letters. I would have liked that. Like Earth Lambda. Yeah, we're not going to see Sigma. more than no. ten of them anyway, so why not? Because yeah. I, I know, like, three of them. Earth Theta. Yeah. Earth Epsilon. There's plenty of good, all kinds of... I don't of, think oh, I they're go doing to Earth that. Gamma Gamma Gamma, they throw a rager! Yeah. If they don't do that already, I hope some other universe takes that. Mm. Because that's a neat idea. Yeah. This is Tales from the Dark Multiverse Blackest Night, written by Tim Seeley, with art by Kyle Holtz, and inked and colored by like 12 other people <laughs> for some reason. You noticed that when we were getting ready to shoot, you were like, how, how many freaking people does it take to make one 48 page comic? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh my God, that's a lot of people who are inking and coloring this one book, one book. drawn by one person. Yep, weird. Yeah, I did a couple of pages, and then the editor said, "That sucks. You're fired." All right, All you're right. in. But my name's still on it, though. Maybe the art yeah. changes like radically partway through, and so they got different. There's no tonal shift, no. and it's the same guy. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Yeah. Anyway, we covered Blackest Night, the Green Lantern event. We work in groups. I do the up and down lines. Jerry over here does the back and forth lines, and Mike. Mike does the curve. You're all fired. <laughs> That is not That's how we insane. do things. That is so insane. I don't know how any of you are eating. There's no way. I'm really, all I'm saying is we're really good at what we do. Yeah. And what you do is the wrong thing. <laughs> wrongly. Everything about you is wrong. Get get out of here. Get out of my office. How did you even get in here? How did you even get the contract for this job? That being said, I should point out that the, the inkers and colors are actually really good inkers and colors. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, it looks good. And Tell I, you, man. I, I recognize these names. No, that <laughs> method does not work. Then they don't follow it's it. Good system. <laughs> but I know these names and I've seen their work and they are all good. It's just like 
Any one of them could have done a good job, too. Why did it take so many? This is a mystery that no one asked for, for a book that half the people read. So let's just jump into it. We covered Blackest Night. It was a big event that we all kind of enjoyed. It's basically DC Zombies before yep. Deceased, which is like better DC Zombies, I think. Mm -hmm. It's more in tune with the zombie trope. Well, it's more yeah. in tune with like it actually working in the world. Well, it's also it's in continuity, mm. yeah. Yeah, well, Blackest Night is in continuity. Happened. It really did happen. Yeah. But I love the premise of it actually playing into the whole death of the DC universe angle, anyone who had died, boom, you're a Black Lantern, that kind of thing. So this is just what if Blackest Night. That's, that's so it. So what if, like, it, what if, if, it, if we didn't win? Yeah. If the good guys didn't Bingo. win Blackest Night. Oh. Yes, that's it. Yeah, what if it were worse? Because, of course, like, what happens in Blackest Night? They win. What happens in the anti-Blackest Night? They lose. What, what, but what happens after that? Right. And I know, like, wow. how? I, I, yes, but how do they lose? Yeah. It's like watching episode three. How did Anakin fall, though? Tales of the Dark Multiverse, The Blackest Night, obviously, it's just, what if Blackest Night were more sad? <laughs> but it's not as sad right. as Death of Superman, where it's, like, genuinely heart-wrenching. Yeah, that was dark. And, like, yeah. Lois Lane is, like, actually a compelling character as the Eradicator. Yeah, well, it's a little close to reality. This, everyone turns into zombies. Yeah. So, like, how... Okay. Where do you even yeah. go from there? Yeah. How so, upset am I gonna be? Right. So, the, the premise is... We don't even, and like everyone before it, they don't go, like, okay, we're going to just retell Blackest Night, but with this twist. Mm -hmm. It takes place after Blackest Night. Right, Blackest Night already happened. Or or it mostly happened and then this twist happens and then it goes in another direction. Uh, okay. Do you Same think Tim's Huguenot ever just like sits down on the couch and be like, man, I gotta stop going to Worlds. It does not work out for me. <laughs> well, he keep, well, you're in the dark multiverse. It's never going to be good. But he keeps letting... That's his, that's his funny, folly. He seems to bomb in, like, right at the moment when everything's falling apart. He's yeah. Like, oh, let's check over here. Oh, things Ooh, are looking okay. Oh, 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 oh gee. Damn. Ooh. That's bad. Okay, I'm just going to... Chalk that up for another loss. All right. Well, oh. let's check out this one. <laughs> yep. This one. Oh, this one's looking pretty... Oh, right. Oh. Nope. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just... Uh, man, my timing... Not so good. terrible. Yeah. It's me. It's, it's actually ironic that his name is Tempest Fugonaut and his timing is so awful. <laughs> like always, Tempest Fugonaut bookends the story and he's like, you know me, I'm Tempest Fugonaut and it's my duty to, to please that booty in the dark multiverse. Here we go. Hey, look, we see Superman. We see Batman's back breaking. Yep. We see a couple of things that reference it. Uh, Infinite Crisis, uh, the death of Superman. He's like, oh, we've done three chapters already. What about a fourth? <laughs> I will say that this is the most involved Tempest Fugonaut is in any of the Dark Multiverse stories. He gets involved? He gets involved. Oh. This is the part in the fight where he likes to get involved. There is no point where, you know, it's the Blackest Night, like, Sinestro is, like, trying to do something, and then Tempest goes, Stand back, Thal Sinestro! I'll take care of this! And blasts the zombies with his stupid pole. No, it's not quite that involved. Okay. okay. But he does... In typical Uatu Watcher fashion, involve himself, okay. but in a actually more applicable and appropriate Uatu Watcher fashion, where he's like trying to preserve it as opposed to being like, screw it. I'm changing everything. Changing it up. This sucks. I've done four of these and they're all miserable. I'm never going to get a champion for my Dark Crisis. <laughs> so, how about we just grab somebody? Just anybody. So, the premise for this, the change, is that Sinestro was the first vessel for the White Lantern entity, mm. but Sinestro conquers his fear and his greed and imparts the White Lantern entity to Kyle Rayner and the rest of the core, the, the color spectrum, right. so that the White Lantern entity can, can fully and completely destroy Necron and the Dark Black Lanterns. Right. In this story, Sinestro's more of a dick than he was in the last one, and so he thinks he can handle himself. And he fails. Mm. And the White Lantern entity is destroyed by Necron and the Black Lantern forces. And so the Black Lanterns just roll over the universe and destroy everything, converting everyone into Black Lanterns. Oh, wow. So the cover is gives this away almost immediately. Well, because the first two pages well, of the yeah. story. Like, yeah, that's good. That's the prelude. It's actually funny because he says, the universe is his failure. This is his story. Sinestro's mm. story. Because Sinestro, essentially, he loses... But he still has the White Lantern ring, so he can still 
conquer death as the White Lantern, but he's a failure and a loser. <laughs> and he is so overwhelmed with loss and failure and depression that he tries to use the White Lantern Ring to blow his own head off and just get out of this hole. Oh, That's not wow. what the White Lantern Ring does, man. <laughs> no. It's, it's about life. Well, it, it does, but because he used the White Lantern Ring, he winds up becoming a kind of like half White Lantern, half Black Lantern entity. A Grey Lantern. No, no. It's half white, like half two black, face. like Two Face, where like those crappy Star Trek aliens. Yeah, but we hate them because which of half course, is which doesn't matter. <laughs> like the point is, he died, yeah. and so when he died, the the Black Lantern Corps tried to enlist him. Right. So he is master of both Black Lanterns and White Lanterns, but oh. there's no life left in the universe because the Black Lanterns roll over everything. So he's alone. Yeah, but he can. But Resurrect people. Yeah, That's yeah, what the White Lantern ring does. Back. But he's not a full White Lantern because he's got half the Black Lantern. So he can only bring people back for a couple of seconds and then they are overwhelmed by the Black Lantern. Oh. Yeah. He's a walking contradiction. He's a walking monument to his greed and failure. Okay. So so what do the Black Lanterns do after they've all they've well, taken over the galaxy? Well, they're they're still they're still in Sleep? phase two of oh, the taking over okay. everything. They haven't finished. Because they gotta go to New Genesis, they gotta take the you know, everything. Yeah, right. and of course phase three is profit. Naturally. That's yeah. So there are a couple of people who are still alive or immune to the Black Lanterns thrall. Dove of Hawk and Dove fame. Uh, Dove is, I don't know who that is Hawk and Dove is a crime fighting duo that started out as a man man team and then they went oh let's make Dove a girl and so they just moved the role to a new character aren't Hawks and Dove's natural enemies they are but they, but that's the that's the the contradiction and irony of their of their union that's oh. what makes it One, sexy yeah, yeah yeah like well Hawk is more aggressive and Dove is more passive and so you get like the the icy hot of the superhero teamage you know. Hawk sometimes, sometimes you need like a, a fist in this fight, and sometimes you need an open hand. Right. Hawk and Dove. Yeah, because slaps can be really painful. That's right, and Dove is all about it. <laughs> Dove actually played a role in Blackest Night because she was the... Pos <sighs> when, they, when they ran out of ideas for Hawk and Dove, <laughs> they wound up making her also have a power, which is that she possesses the white light of creation. Oh. In Blackest... It, it, it made up Oh. Bullshit. But it's in Blackest Night, but the idea is that, like, the White Light of Creation, maybe it's connected to the White Lantern Entity, maybe it's part of the source itself, who knows, who cares? Tim Seeley noticed, and he cared, so he made it a linchpin of this story. Oh. Because in Blackest Night, Dove was able to wield the White Light of Creation to change people from Black Lanterns into their alive form, and to prevent herself from being transformed. Okay. And so, she can't do that for Sinestro? No. So no. <laughs> she is in San Francisco and she's trying to just hold back the oncoming tide of all these heroes and, and citizens who are Black Lanterns. Yeah. And then Lobo shows up because Lobo can't die. End of story. And right. he's also black and white. And a little bit of red. Yes. The, yeah, the, the not really you and colors. <laughs> he's just, yes, thematically. The whole he thing is, is about colors. It, it is. And it's black and white. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Maybe that's why they picked Lobo. I think it's because he's he can't we die. We know he can't die. Like his ability is that he can't die, right. so he can't become a black lamb. Exactly. Like it would be stupid and crappy if the last survivor of the universe were Lobo. So ha ha, here he is. Yeah. And his job, because of course he's a bounty hunter, is he was hired to get Dove and bring her to an undisclosed location. By whom? Oh, that's a mystery. Okay. So Lobo. Goes in there, he's ripping people apart, he's kicking ass and taking names, he's he's shredding people like Cyborg. Oh. And saving Dove and talking about how cute she is and great and uh -huh. blah blah blah. Uh, he's less gross and problematic <laughs> than I've seen him before. I was literally right. reading an event with him as the linchpin, and it was like, that's just irresponsible. <laughs> His level of sexual aggression in that oh. story. In this, it's just more like you're you're He's in just hitting on her. He hits on her a little bit, yeah. but for the most part, Lobo actually winds up. He hides it throughout the whole story, but at the end, he's like, he cared about Dove ah. because she was like the last bastion of goodness and purity in the universe. I guess in the absence right, like, well, of your life, you're alive, and right? Well, and you're the last one. Is. Yeah, you're one of the last ones, yeah. and so 
like I guess I found a conscience in the like endless void. <laughs> so he's sensitive, but he's hardcore, like Meatloaf. That's right. But. Yeah. Yeah, like all of us. So he is kicking ass, and then Sinestro shows up. And of course, Sinestro is trying to atone. I can't die. Oh, I did die, and now I'm half a Black Lantern. So like, but mm -hmm. everything here is because of my greed and my stupidity. And to answer your question, Ethan, uh, his right half is uh, white, and his left half is black. And that makes sense, because he took the ring up to his head like this, blew the left side out. Right. Yeah. So that side died first. Right. Yes. Yeah. Sure. So That's all I got. in order to 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 quell the violence, he uses the White Lantern ring to co to to command the hordes that are fighting Lobo and Dove to live, and mm -hmm. it awakens their consciousness, and they become the Marvel zombies. We're like, oh no! Please kill me before I do more horrible things. And you're like, <laughs> oh, I've done such bad. Oh, oh, oh god. god. Oh jeez. I know what people taste like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <sighs> right before it wears off. Lobo regales Sinestro with his plan. I gotta take Dove out into the universe and take her to one of the skull's location. And Sinestro's like, okie dokie, I'm coming with you. Because he got because he's getting paid. That's why, what he does. He doesn't ask questions. Why, why do I care about that then? Well, because Sinestro wants to save the universe. Like he still feels bad about what he did. Right. And maybe this person who's paying you is somehow gonna do that. Well, it, A, <laughs> they're not on Earth, so they're not like some idiot human who can't do anything. Right. And B. You know, it's out in the known galaxy. Who knows who hired them? Does Sinestro flip between, like, fits of good and no. fits of bad? No, it's he's just, just Sinestro. Sinestro. but he's dead. In, half dead. He's Sinestro, half dead, and wants to save the universe. So he can use the power of the Black Ring. He can. But... Yeah. Not in an evil way? No. No, it's odd. Like, we, we see a display of his White Lantern power to turn the minds of those enthralled by the Black Lantern and Necron, but he doesn't use the Black Lantern ring to, like, make them just go away or right. tell them to attack yeah, something weird, else. Because he could do that, too. I guess because we needed a sequence where we see him using the White Lantern ring. Right, and all the people, like, realizing the horror of what's happened to them. Yeah, otherwise we won't get a scene like that. Right. Because that's, that's the only time we're going to get, like, all these hordes of people who might have a conscience. Yeah. The only thing that would make sense, then, is if he's not using the Black Lantern ring for nefarious purposes mm -hmm. if like everywhere he goes yeah like dead people will start to come back to life as no. black lanterns and he can't help that right right that no, would make sense no, no. so they hop on his space motorcycle yeah. and six days later they arrive at their location they're on a space motorcycle for six days yeah that's a nightmare they got really sore asses <laughs> yeah and they're like hungry right sore. they don't explain it or talk about it much except for the fact there's that a they bubble, say it's six unless that's later. just a planet in the background or they say it's six days later. Six days later. Yeah. Maybe they stop at, like, rest oh. stops on the way. I yeah. don't know if any of them are in, are in service right now, <laughs> you know, given the, the Holocaust. Right. But uh, they... Change my order to the soup! <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, a bit where Sinestro, like, awakens, and he's like, what's wrong with my face? And uh, Lobo... <laughs> no, you always look like that. Lobo put his cigar out in Sinestro's dead eye. You know, like, so there's, like, a cigar stogie stub, like, sticking out of his eye. Uh, 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 and he's just like, I used you like an ashtray. Ha, ha, ha. You know, well, but at least it's justified because he knows Sinestro is really the reason why all this right. sucks. So they arrive at Takron Galtos, which is essentially a prison. Oh. And when they get there, they are attacked by Black Lantern New Gods. Oh. So Big Barda, the Furies, they're all transformed... Uh oh, well, that's bad. And so they attack them. Uh, Lobo asks Sinestro to try anything, and it's not working on them, presumably because they're new gods and they're made of tougher stuff. Okay. But it doesn't work. But Sinestro's supposed to be like the best of the lanterns. Well, he was for a second, and then he failed. So he's the worst of them, actually. <laughs> uh, so they're about to get eaten by new gods when Mr. Miracle arrives. Oh, the okay. mysterious benefactor of this a of this operation. Ah, so. If you need a miracle, call Mr. Miracle. That's right. Like, what is he going to pay Lobo in? Mm. Like, money? Life? What is like, Lobo Like, you still get to live? Money. Lobo is a simple creature. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. And Miracle has a box of Cubans that he stuck right. away. Like, oh. he can't die, and so, like, even if the universe is a horrible nightmare vision of, of a zombie movie. Mm -hmm. You know, Lobo's like, well, I guess I'll just ride my Harley. I'll kill people. I'll smoke cigars. You know, maybe a couple of these... 
Black Lantern babes will be down after a couple of millennia, you know? I got, I got, I got room to think about it. Right. I, I'm just saying... But, like, why does he need money? Yeah, I, you said he was hired. He was. Like, well, because, what, he, because he's a mercenary. Money. That's it. It's just it's like, like, I won't do it for free. That's you right. pay me. Yes. Well, and, and Lobo has, like, a weird sense of, like, honor... Where it's like if he makes a promise, he follows the promise to yeah, its But why conclusion. would he? Why would he make that promise? Right. You still have to because pay for he needs fuel to in space. <laughs> yeah, but like the space bike is gonna run out. The structure is all destroyed. Yeah, he'll just go fill it up for free. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like the book is that long. Well, I mean, the Black Lanterns <laughs> are still like you know cognizant. Mm -hmm. Some right, of them still, act like, like zombies, but some of them are people. Interstellar gas stations. And yeah, stuff. yeah, that's yeah. true. So. The service anyway, is going downhill, though. Mr. Miracle reveals his plan, and he's like, okay, so I hired Lobo to retrieve Dove, and I knew Sinestro would catch wind of this plan and come with you. So here's my plan. We are going to go to the Source Wall, and once we tap through the Source Wall, we will get We access. won't be here anymore. No, they're not trying to leave. leave. They could have just left to another dimension, but for some reason they don't. So instead, well, mostly because they're in the Dark Multiverse. Right. And, like, I guess stories... There's nowhere else to go. Yeah. They're all dark. Some say that behind the Source Wall is not God, but the Source. And it's basically the Source of all life. And if we can tap through the wall and access the Source and funnel it through through Dove and her ability to wield the white light of creation, right. we can use it to bathe the universe in this white light and cure everyone of the Black Lanterns. Much like Lilu okay. uses in the fifth element to stop the planet yeah, in the source of Much evil. like that. Very much like that. And they'll use Sinestro because he has access to the White Lantern ring to help funnel that source energy through Dove. You know, because oh. it's like they're gonna set up like a bucket brigade for this like energy. Like, okay, it's gonna go through. It's through gonna you yep. and then and then into her and then through her uh -huh. and then out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. the plan. Well, uh, I just gotta ask then. Uh, why couldn't the energy <laughs> just go directly into Dove? Well, I'll tell you, because Dove is but a human shell and isn't strong enough to handle the source. <laughs> what? It's too. It, if you need a cosmic <laughs> wall floating in space to hold it back, if you blast it at a lady from Earth, it will probably obliterate her. There, there's a lot of maybes that are factored into this plan, so, and I don't know. So that's just okay. it's like stepping down the power, or, like or at least funneling it into something that she can convert into the white light of creation or use it it's not a very solid plan <laughs> remember he said maybe the source is behind the source wall and right. we don't know he's assuming it based on the fact that it's called the source wall right, right. somebody called it that hopefully they knew what they were talking about and yes. it's not like the source of creation we mean like i've got a guy he's my source <laughs> yeah and what they what none of them know is that actually what's behind the source wall is Perpetua, an endless goddess that created the multiverse in the first place. But then you have to ask, well, in the dark multiverse, does that mean that there's like a dark Perpetua back there? Isn't Perpetua dark anyway? Yes, but not from the dark multiverse. Don't worry, it doesn't come up. <laughs> And in fact, he's right. It is the source. Oh. But then you think, well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. The source wall is kind of like Apocalypse and New Genesis where they're outside of the multiverse. Is this the source wall? That can't be, because the source wall doesn't exist anymore. Is also the source wall where, like, Dark Darkseid got the anti-life equation? Yes. That's, that's one way he could get it. Yeah. But this is the dark source wall sound. This is a different this thing. This is a dark source wall. Presumably on every Earth... In the Dark Multiverse, yeah. there is a Dark Source there's Wall! There's a Dark Source Wall, oh, and in that's the regular weird. universe, there's just one Source Wall for right. all of them. For everybody. It's totally different. Totally different. Oh, the Source yeah. Wall for everybody. Wait yeah. until we get to the crises. There's a friggin' Tale of the Dark Multiverse where it's infinite crisis. There's an infinite crisis on one Earth and the Dark Multiverse? How does that even... <laughs> that can't work. <laughs> How does that even... So the, 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 no, it... that Earth has its own group of sub-Earths. Yes. That are it part its of own its infinite crisis. It's sub-multiverse <laughs> that they don't think is dark. This is right. falling off the rails. <laughs> so yeah. they get to the Source Wall and they're like, sweet. And a boom tube opens, and some Black Lantern lanterns come through. And when I say that, I don't mean like Superman. I mean like 
Hal Jordan and Sinestro's daughter and like the yeah. Red Lantern Corps and everybody the else who were some sort of lantern and are now black. Yes, lantern. like they all come through and they, and of course they're black lantern so they can talk and they're they they have their consciousness. Mm -hmm. So Hal Jordan's like, "You're a loser." <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh man. Yeah, literally, you. Why'd lost. you have to bring that up? Yeah. So then, uh, Black Lantern Dark Side comes through. Okay, with the game over. Oh. And he's like, "I am anti life incarnate. Bring it on!" And you're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> Black Lantern Dark Side must be the most power. No, he's not. He's oh. just there. He does like one thing, and that's it. They just wanted to draw him. They just wanted him in there. And they wanted you to crap your pants over how awesome and powerful he is. You should have, like, uh, negative Omega Beams. Right. Nega Beams. There we Omega go. Omega Beams? Omega, Omega beams. beams. So, he uses them. You should have Alpha Beams. Mm, I think Alpha Beams come up. Not here. It's the opposite. Of right. Of Omega. Omega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then uh, Lobo, he's like, I'll kick Darkseid's ass. And Darkseid just Omega Beams him and atomizes him. Oh, so that's the end of that. But he can't, but he die. can't die. But he can't die. So does he come? Does his friggin' cells reassemble themselves? We'll see. Is, <laughs> he, is he just alive somehow? Right, like, like his I'm consciousness is there, right? <laughs> He's like onslaught. He just he, <laughs> and he goes into Darkseid's brain and becomes anti-life oh. dark. No, he's like Merlin. Oh, now I'm a microscopic thing. I'm in your brain and I'm making you sick. <laughs> yeah, great. No, he's not that. It's. It's much more obvious. Ugh. So, uh, Sinestro battles the lanterns while Mr. Miracle sets up the machine, of course, that he needed to build using apocalyptic technology to help siphon the Oh, source. he built a thing, too. Well, he's got a tap through the wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah he's got a drill. Yeah. He got Bruce Willis out there. Right. So, yeah, he, he called up a whole team of drillers. Well, I have to ask, why would we send drillers when we could just teach astronauts how to drill? I mean, it seems like one skill set's a little greater than the other. <laughs> Look, I've been drilling my whole life. Yeah, I've never yeah. drilled the same environment twice, you and I've can't. never missed a death I made for. I saying. made a promise to my daughter. Oh my you can't. Te you can't teach thirty years of drilling experience. Well, you, you you could teach thirty years of space faring experience, yeah, and less. Weeks. You could you could learn how to be an astronaut. No, right. they don't have to spacewalk or do all these. They do all of the insane shit. They yeah, do. They do. They do. See Armageddon, by the way. It's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. It's super stupid. It is fun. And super stupid. I think it falls apart around Act 3. Like, once Steve Buscemi takes over the rig and starts, like, shooting everybody because he has space madness, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Like, I was like... Yeah, because you get to hear someone call it space madness. Yeah. I, space I, dimension. Literally, when he remember. starts shooting people, I go, so you just need to pad the runtime. Yeah. This movie you know, is that movie over. is two hours it's long. It's two... Right? It's 45 minutes too long, and it's like, you... you well, it's like, you can just we put this character in, and we didn't really know what to do with Well, I game, wanted so. to cast Steve Buscemi. Space Madness. So Sornik and Jordan are going to get Sinestro, and he pours as much effort into his White Lantern Ring as he can, mm. and he resurrects them. Oh. They're back to normal. Oh, he just tries a little harder? Yes. And he just, he begs for their forgiveness, and then Hal says, Sinestro, you were, you were the best of us. And then he's like, ah, and it just, it doesn't hold. It doesn't oh, work. Because yeah. he's not a full White Lantern. Right. And I feel well, so bad. You hadn't blown, tried to blow your brains out, yeah, man. you freaking idiot. Yeah. And it's so sad because Sorenik is like, don't let me change again. And like, Ugh. every time they change, the Black Lantern entity, like, the ring comes and says, like, Sorenik, you are chosen to be a Black Lantern. Like, it, just, it happens all over again. And then Lobo pops up and he cuts off both their heads and he's like, stop, don't let them get in your head. We got a mission to accomplish. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm Lobo, back. Lobo, you were, you were atomized. He's like, yeah, I was. And then you see that, like, Darkseid and all his his minions are being attacked by all these naked lobos. All the cells separated into and and and, and reconstituted grow? into lobos. So if you cut his arm off, it'll grow a lobo. Oh my god, this is no, great. it doesn't. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's happened before. But if you add, you see, but we've never broken him down on a cellular level. Yeah, if you get him smaller, it's paradoxical. Actually, it's easier for him to become multiple. Sinestro explains it Well, best. look, I can heal myself if I have a wound. Right. And, like, my consciousness is all there, but, like, what's my consciousness if I'm atomized? Every little bit's like, no, I'm Lobo. All that yeah. happen is I start over, each cell starts over as a, as a, as a baby. Yeah. Lobo. Lobo explains that he doesn't usually let himself do that because one main man is enough. And he doesn't uh, want to be a competition. Uh, it's called main man for a reason. Yeah, it's right. not main men. But I guess I'll make an exception. Well, I gotta fight Darkseid. So he gets his, like, his hook... 
thing that he wields all the time and just digs them into Darkseid's eyes. It's either like a meat hook or a giant toe hook. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever the, it is, it's awesome. Whatever it is, it's dope. So, <sighs> so Lobo defeats Darkseid. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, this is canon, folks, Lobo can beat Darkseid. Well, I mean, yeah, if you stab his eyes out. Right. With a hook. Toe or meat. Anyway, so... They, Shouldn't just, like, like, Omega Beams be pouring out of his head, and like, relentlessly, like, No! Yeah. I can't stop it yeah, now! that'd be awesome. Instead, blood just comes out of it. And he doesn't die, by the way. He's, right, just, he's, just, he's just blinded, so now he's, like, less of a threat. Yeah. So, they proceed with the plan, and they funnel the energy through Dove, and she's ready to go, and Mr. Miracle's gonna use a mother box to, I guess, like, send this energy all throughout creation. And Darkseid's like, good call, man. Yeah, that's totally gonna work. By the way, I don't know if you know this, <laughs> but if you do end up doing that, it will reboot the universe. It won't cure everyone. It will, the White Lantern energy, the source energy, right. will... It's just gonna it's do what it did the first time yes, and, it'll and create un a universe. Yeah, it'll take yeah. out the disease. Yeah. And it'll cleanse the universe and reboot it. Right. So, you're not getting Barda back. Right. In fact, you will be here and she won't ever have existed. Why won't it reboot him? Why won't he just die? Because he's outside of it. He's not infected. Like, he's oh. not the problem with the universe. Oh. Just... Just everything okay. else. So it'll just weird. It'll just be a sterile universe. Well, it'll, it'll with, find like, life, plants and stuff. No, it'll use the it'll no, it'll use the life within Dove as the template for life throughout the universe. So it'll, so be it'll a make full of Dove. No, it'll make it, Dove will be the template. So it'll be like pretty attractive, like humanoid people. Oh, it'll basically do it all over again. And they'll just be like. How did I get here? Or well, will they have like rich backstories and stuff? Well, it'll it, what'll happen is <laughs> it doesn't it'll, sound any different. It'll take billions of years of evolution. Oh, like they I will see. get to that right. template. So you're gonna start out with single-celled organisms. Yes. And, yeah. So he'll be alone. Right. Yes. With Dove. Yeah. And, and Lobo. Lobo. And Lobo. Don't forget and Lobo. And a whole bunch of Lobos. Yes. Mr. Miracle immediately abandons his plan. Yes, he like, does. I am not spending the rest of eternity with this asshole. When he finds out he can't be with Barda anymore, he like, snaps oh, the neck of Dove. What? And what? Lobo is like, are you shitting me? And so are most of the readers at this point, because they're like, really? Like, you're at you're at the wall of creation, life itself is funneling through a hole that you yeah. that you cut, and you you are just told by the Lord of Lies <laughs> that like your wife won't be able to hang out with you anymore, and you're like, all of existence is worth sacrificing if I can't have what I want. Yeah, but you're not going to get what you want either way. No. So, well, he thought he was going to cure her and then he could be back together. Yeah, her. why don't you just turn, like, kill yourself and turn into a Black Lantern and then be cleansed? Then right. you won't have to exist anymore. Yeah. Right, exactly. No, and Maybe in a billion years you'll find the No, again. because apparently Mr. Miracle's a super selfish person. So... And it's not even selfish, though. He's not going to get anything out of this. No. He doesn't get anything either way. No. Well, you he, might as well cleanse the universe. Right. So he doesn't, like, and then... What does he think he's going to get out of this? Yeah. Does Darkseid, like, offer him something? No. Nope. No, he just gets in his head. So then Lobo, Lobo takes his hand and he just drives it through Mr. Miracle's chest cavity. And he's like, thanks to you, there will be nothing in this universe but ugliness and darkness. It's all your fault. And Darkseid's like, ha ha ha, yeah, nice job. Hey, hey, Sinestro, you're a big loser and you failed. And Sinestro's like, no, I'm not a loser. I'm going to fix this. I've had enough people calling me a loser. I'm sick of it. So he, so... Sinestro finds like the deepest will within him and yeah. uses the White Lantern ring to like, me like to just wreck all of the oncoming Black Lanterns that are attacking them. And then he he uses the White Lantern ring like a like a Green Lantern ring and like grabs Lobo and he's like, dude, we could still make this work, but it can't be me because I'm I'm half Black Lantern. I'll be the template. That can't be. It's got to be you, Lobo. So then he uses Lobo what? to restart the universe and eradicate he, death. He pours the source wall energy into Lobo. Yes. But Lobo doesn't ye wield the light of creation. No, it doesn't really matter. So then... Oh, he, it turns out anybody could have worked. Well, Lobo's made of sturdy material. I see. So Lobo is now the template for the universe. 
And sweet. So that's just kind of like, and Lobo can't die. So like everything that is made will actually be resistant to Necron. So he is defeated. Oh. You know, because like now there will be no death for you to wield. Right. Death will be impossible. Yes. So it'll be a universe of immortals. Right. Sweet. Well, immortal everything. Right. So the white like energy like wafts over the universe. By the way, it doesn't like wipe the slate clean. Like. Every, right. All the buildings and stuff are still yeah. there. It's just that life so no more starts over. Black Lantern. That's right. Yeah. So then life evolves, and you have like Lobo rats and Lobo gorillas, and they all are have like this, this inherent understanding of who Lobo is, and so they like build monuments to Lobo, and every being across the known universe has Lobo as the template. So they can't die, and they have an innate sense of competition and like a mercenary's attitude. And so the universe has been rebooted as like a world, a galaxy of Lobos. The world is, the entire galaxy is now just a biker gang. Yes. It's Lobo. The whole game. galaxy is a biker bar now. That sucks. <laughs> yes. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. So then Sinestro was like, that sucks. <laughs> and so, oh, why did I tell him to do this? No Damn. Yeah. It should have been me. So wait, there was nobody alive in the whole galaxy. Nope. Nope. Nobody who could have survived the process. So, so I think I would have looked. There was a, there a, was a machine to, to funnel it. Yeah. Mr. Miracle had it. Yeah, but she also, remember, she's Dove. She was very special. She was pure and innocent. She could have started the universe over right. Did he just pick, like, Larry or Lobo? You know, it would just be a disaster. It would just be a disaster. So then, in Sinestro's final moments of the book, he spends his, like, time looking for the edge of creation where he sees Tempest Fugonaut, oh. and he's like, let me out. And Tempest Fugonaut's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and just closes the door. He's like, well, nah. Sinestro is not the hero I need for the Dark Crisis. I have seen the true Blackest Knight later, and he just, like, sews it closed. And Sinestro's like, no! Nope. Um. <sighs> what? <laughs> Why isn't Sinestro fine for his... Like, you're right. not going to do any better. Well, because Sinestro... Sinestro at least tried. Because he's half dead. Oh. So as soon as he was half dead, it was over. It was over. Like, Tempest well, might have just walked away at that point. Well, no, it's, it's more like, well, you mean, why did he take Sinestro into his dark crisis? Uh, oh, because Sinestro... Well, I mean, like, why didn't the book end as soon as he uh, shot himself in the head with the ring? Oh, because... Tempest should have just been like... That was only two pages. Oh, he's half dead. Okay, well... Well, because peace. he... Peace. Well, because then... But there was like... Ah, well, no, there was a chance that Dove would have yeah, made Yeah, maybe what if the Dove Yeah, but he still it. wasn't going to take Sinestro. No, but Sinestro's the last one who could have gone. I see. So, so there may have been some other champion. Well, maybe Mr. Miracle. If they had succeeded, he could have taken Dove or Mr. Miracle. Right. When you said Tempest Fugonite was going to play a role. they couldn't succeed because it's the dark nope. universe. Yep, it's the contradiction of like, why look? But it's like, that's the that's the futility of hope. It's like, I'm in the dark multiverse. I'm looking for a hero. There's no way I'm going to find one. But there I, has to be. I, there has to be. There has to be hope, even in the most hopeless of universes. It's, a, it's me. It's a universe it's where... It's Tempest Fugonaut. I'm the hope. It's, yeah, it's, right? It's, it's, it's defined by its lack of hopelessness. Yes. <laughs> or its lack of hope. By right. its hopelessness. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. He's going to have to settle. Right. For one of these people. <laughs> right. Oh, oh. Spoilers, he doesn't. There, There is no, like, end to this. There's no, like, story where he's like, and finally I have my champions, or, and this one's gonna do fine. There are more coming. They made five. They announced a couple more. Didn't I grab... hope Tempest is in them. I think I said earlier where I was like, I hope he's not. Now I'm like, no. <laughs> Keep putting him in it. And being like, maybe there's somebody over here. Especially, like, the further away from the Dark Matter Universe bullshit they get. So that more people are like, who is this complicated, <laughs> stupid character? Well, you said that he grabbed uh, Lois Lane, right? No, he did not. No, he didn't. He was he like, he maybe. At the end of all of them, he's like, maybe. <laughs> but not this one. He's like, no. But now. <laughs> I said maybe to a couple. You're a hard pass. That's right. <laughs> Sinestro's a hard pass. He locked the door. Uh, so stupid. God it's damn. but I love the Blackest Night. Like this what if Blackest Night, this revisit of this universe, written by Tim Seeley of all people, was like, it's a Lobo story. <laughs> it's a stupid Lobo story. Because it's like, oh, who's the only one that the black 
uh, Landrins could never defeat. Right. Someone who can't die. Right. Lobo. Lobo. Oh my god. And it'll be it funny. Itself. And it'll be funny. Because he's such an idiot, you see. And, right. and you know. You won't see it coming. Well, and it's tragic at the end. Like, they do, like, infuse a little bit of, uh, of, of actual character to Lobo where he's like, he's so resentful. You know, he's like, he, yeah, everything's cool. Everything sucks when, like, good people are in charge. But, like, now that there's nothing. Right. It's like, you gave me hope and then you snapped its neck because you're a selfish knob. Damn it. Yeah. Like, any hope I may have had is gone. And then Sinestro, the biggest loser ever, who also is the reason this even happened in the first place, is like, ah, there's no time. You! And it's like, but I just lost my hope. Phew! <laughs> Even the rats are are, are big jerks. Do they, like, sh do they show Lobo reacting to the fact that there's a universe of him? Not really. No, that's too bad. No, he was the catalyst for it. Is, it, is he destroyed in the process? No, he can't be. So he's just like out there. It's posers just right. everywhere. Everyone People here. trying to be me, but yep. they can't. Not the main man. I don't know. Or he's like, or maybe he became like a like a like a like a Kevin Flynn monk. He's like out in the universe, and he's just he's just waiting. I yeah. kind of figured like, and that would be the great surprise. Them. Tempest Huguenot's like, you come on. Yeah, why does he go get Lobo? Right? Maybe he will. <laughs> you know, in that dark crisis, we're never gonna get. And uh, more people than ever are like, um, death metal's the dark crisis. No, it wasn't. It can't be. If it were, Tempest Huguenot would be in it. <laughs> And he's not. And, Death uh, Metal's all about the, the Barbatos and crap, he's, right? he's, no. He was defeated. No, was, it's about Perpetual. Oh, okay. Dark Knight's Metal was about Barbatos. But there's someone even more powerful than Barbatos. What? Where, where did Perpetua come from? That was recently, right? Yeah, Scott Snyder and Editor. Oh, and he's also doing... Death Dark Knight. Knight Death Metal, yeah. Death Metal, yeah. Does she yeah. have a last name or is it just Perpetua? Yeah. She's just Perpetua. She created the multiverse. She she exists pre last names. Anyway, Blackest Night or Tales from the Dark Multiverse. Blackest Night is in a collected volume. You can pick up. I I remember thinking to myself when we started the show. I'm like, I should grab the hardcover because we have that, and it's in the description for you to pick up. There are at least two great stories in that five story collection. I think you should pick it up. Check it out if you have a if you have a minute and some spare change. Um, I don't know. I saw this on the floor at a comic book store literally a couple days ago. So, like, you could also just get the singles. You don't have to necessarily get the hardcover. I like that. When you say floor, I know you meant, like, it was in a box somewhere. It was not in the box. It was just laying on the floor? It was laying on the floor next to a long box. It was just discarded. Yes. Someone had read it and then went, this is worthless. And this is trash. Floor. They didn't throw it away. And they didn't, like, it wasn't open. You know, it was just kind of like, they read it and they went, I'll, I'll put this away later. And they just put it on top of this other thing. And I was like, <laughs> I'd like to buy this garbage, please. Done. That'll be seven dollars. So they have everybody. This happened. Will there be more? Half of us says no. Half of us says yes. We're at war with ourselves. Kablam! Let us know in the comments down below. Do you want more? Well, really, the way to the way to let us know is to watch this freaking episode. I'm done. You read some of these. I don't. Want you, you read some of this. I don't and you're want like that anymore. sucks. That ending, so that sucks so much. There's no way Mr. Miracle would do that. It doesn't make any sense. No, it's, no. I promise you the other two don't end as slipshod as this. Mm. Okay, see, that's better. Like, they, they actually follow a logical conclusion. You may not be satisfied by them. Right. In fact, you may not be satisfied by any of it's them. designed to not be satisfied. See, yeah, exactly. This, this whole book, we thought the failure was Sinestro's at the beginning. Yeah. It's not. No, it's Mr. Miracles. It's Mr. Yeah. Miracles. Yeah. yeah. yeah they should have called this Blackest Night the Folly of Mr. Miracle or something. <laughs> oh, but then it would give it away. That's Blackest true. Blackest Night, Mr. Miracle sucks. I love Blackest Night. Fuck you, Scott. This is so great. Yeah. <laughs> Blackest Night is just like, look at that, Sinestro. Whoa, why are there, like, why is he 50% black? What's going on? And it's like, it's really about Lobo and Mr. Miracle. And Dark Side plays a crucial role. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, ne and Dove. Yeah, and Dove. Don't forget Dove. Necron's not a part of this? He shows up at the end. Like, literally, he shows up and he's like, da-ha! And then, like, the, the wall of Lobo energy blasts him away. He's like, I'm here! Lobo! Oh, <laughs> Lobo! He's like, what? Why? <laughs> he's got blasted in the face by Lobo. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See you next week. No, it'd be great, like, because Lobo's upset, and he's, like, he's, like, beside himself with, like, horror, but, like, he doesn't go, like, that doesn't make any fucking sense, like, it's so stupid, like, <laughs> like, the entire time he's being used by the energy, you know, this is yeah. lame, right? You know, it's stupid. Yeah. <laughs>
I mean, yeah. if Darkseid, like, tempted you or something, saying he could bring her back right, somehow. Right, right. If you only kill Dove, it'll yeah. help you or that something. That would make some kind, of, that'd be some kind of cohesion. No, nothing? Nothing. So dumb. Why did he just use the anti-life equation on him and control him? <laughs> yeah, good question. Okay, and uh, three, two, one. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to Hollywood. Those are, these are the jokes. The rest of it's all, like, sexual assault. <laughs> and graph. The only believable joke is when you do, like, three, two, one. Yep. Mm, yeah. And even then... And that's not that funny. It's though. still stupid. Well, no. It's funny because, like, you're gambling with millions of dollars and the tension of like l of literally just telling some basic ass story with someone else's millions of dollars is yeah. you know it's so overwhelming that when someone goes like clap i got my nose ah. like, oh, 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 fuck 